Welcome back to Scoop. What are you doing? I'm not playing a game on my phone. Why? Because you're supposed to watch me play a game. <laughs> on your phone. Your your phone doesn't do games. My phone. Yeah, I probably got Snake on there. My game is the calculator. You type in boobies on it. Oh. 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 Why did we come earlier? Yeah, right. They kill our giant goblins, which are the ogre trolls. They're like goblins, the but they're not. Alright, I will put them to the blade, as you put it. Put them to your asshole. I'm sorry, what? What? <laughs> who, tell you, the... who tell you how to do combat, man? <laughs> That's not My how it father, works. Assy McDick. <laughs> my Assy McDick farts. Oh, oh, my fingers broke them. So we've been, I've been uh, I've been watching a couple movies lately. Uh, I actually been watching some movies. What movies? Well, first of all, lately we've been on a, a Match Game seventy five kick. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with Match Game seventy five. Great show. They have it on Amazon. I'm watching Match Game seventy five. I don't know why. <laughs> What's what's it about? I you don't know what match game is? No. Uh, I, I, I feel like it, I thought it was a pretty popular enough show that you'd know what it is. But I mean, it's a maybe concept. I do, and I just don't recognize uh, two contestants. Um, and then there's a panel of six celebrities, and then uh, the host will read like a, a riddle or like you know some kind of like funny like anecdote, and there's a blank in there. Okay. Uh, and it's up to the contestants to come up with a good answer for the blank, and then. Um, the celebrities will come up with their own answers, and the objective of the game is to match as many of them as possible. Okay, so it's kind of <coughs> like, um, what you call it, uh... It's just like a fill-in-the-blank type thing. It's like the, the celebrity uh, checkers thing. Or not checkers, but celebrities. Hollywood Squares? Yeah, Hollywood Squares. It's mm, kind of like that. Sort of? It's the same basic premise, but with different uh, things you want. Yeah, there's more more possibilities in, in match game as far as answers are concerned. At least, like you know, the contestants have all like anything that comes to mind. It's not just agree or disagree, but um, but yeah, it's it's the same basic idea in a way. Uh, and um, yeah, it's just this one obviously is the 1975 version, hosted by Gene Raver, and. Uh, Richard Dawson is a lot. He's on it quite a bit, but he became a host later on, I believe. So that's cool. We were watching that. That's fun. It's fun watching it back and then checking out all the people who are now either super crusty old or dead. <laughs> so, um, and like wondering what how much how they they spent the money that they won on that show. Yeah. Um, but it's you know it's it's fun whatever. Uh, and then we also, I've watched a couple of other movies recently that were kind of interesting. Uh, that was one of them. We watched, uh, A Futile and Stupid Gesture, which is on Netflix. Uh, and I actually will openly admit that I slept through half of it. So I didn't, I, I watched enough of it to know what was going on, but I fell asleep during uh, a good portion of it. Um, and that one's about... Uh, fucking what's his face? Fucking Doug Doug Kenny. And he was the, the uh, name sounds familiar. He was the one of the founders of <clears throat> National Lampoon, and it's kind of like a, a comedic retelling of his life story, sort of like sort of. The only reason I wanted to watch it was because uh, David Wayne of Stella, uh, you know the, and he also directed. Um, uh, what Hot American Summer? <clears throat> okay. He he directed this film, and uh, gotta say, not that funny in my opinion. Uh, it has it has a few moments that are kind of good, but wasn't great. Um, and then uh, after that, kind of like you know, we were kind of going through all the 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 Netflix stuff. He did. Uh, it turns out that that guy Doug Kenny did Caddyshack. Um, <laughs> And so Caddyshack, I've never seen Caddyshack. So Caddyshack came up next. We watched it, and that it's, you know what? It's a stupid ass movie, but for the time, I think it's pretty funny. That's the uh, pretty one funny. With Bill Murray, right? Bill Murray is very minor in the movie, yeah, but he's in it. 
I know, like he's the he was like a big ground point on it though, he's, because he's he was the like groundskeeper. a point of like whatever he was doing was like hilarious or something, and that's what a lot of people know it from. Yeah, sort of. He's not really a huge character in it though. Like I don't, I feel like he's barely even in it. But, he uh, probably is barely even in it. He he's barely even in it. <laughs> But yeah, it's it's a funny movie. I think it's funny. It's kind of just a movie that exists just to be dumb. Like, there's really no real plot to it until, like, the last, like, half an hour of the movie. Yeah. Um, but it's kind of fun. It's a fun movie. Um, if you're into those kind of dumb 80s comedy type things, it's, it's not bad. And then we watched, uh, or I watched, rather, because Melissa fell asleep. God damn it, Aries, you stupid... Twat! I gotta go help him out. Fuck! I don't know why he's a twat. Too. My my party sucks, dude. Uh, we watched another Netflix original, or at least I did. Like I said, um, called The Ritual. Okay. Um, it's kind of like this horror-ish type movie. Um, wasn't bad, except the ending was dumb. I thought the ending was dumb because it was like the writers wrote themselves into a corner and they're like, "How does this movie end?" I don't know, just end it, I guess, you know. But it's about uh, a group of dudes getting lost in uh, the woods in Sweden. Okay. And then uh, some paranormal shit starts going down. It's actually kind of creepy. It's got some creepy moments, I'll give it that much. Um, so I don't want to say too much about it, because it is actually kind of worth watching. The ending is kind of shitty, in my opinion, but that's just my opinion. If you're interested, check it out. It's called The Ritual. The Ritual. I think it, like, just came out, actually. Oh, okay. That's probably so, why I haven't heard it. Yeah, it's, like, brand new. So, it's it's actually not bad. Like, it's not amazing, not gonna blow you away, but it's genuinely kind of creepy at times. Uh, it's got some cool ideas in it. I think it's got some cool uh, cinematography and things like that at, at times. Uh, not a bad movie. Just kind of, just the ending is a little underwhelming. You see, I personally like horror movies that are bad. Yeah. Well, I'm saying, I'm, you know, it's just like, I, I don't typically watch a ton of those. I mean, I've seen... I mean, did you ever watch that Wish Upon? That Wish Upon movie? I don't think so. Oh, you should, man. That one's, that one's good because it's so stupid. <laughs> hey, man, if we got some time tonight, maybe we, you and I should watch it. <laughs> What's it about? I, it's that one with the Chinese fortune box or whatever. I think I told you. Oh about yes, okay. I remember you telling me about yeah, that. Yeah, it's the one with the Chinese fortune box that kills people. Ouch! Like you make the wish, and then like it has a blood debt or blood price or whatever, mm -hmm. and then you have to. Uh, and you, if you make a wish, then somebody dies around you. I guess. Okay. It's it kind of I think like all the trailers kind of played it up to be this like you know, um, like oh god he fell off again. Are you serious? <laughs> this is not how this is supposed to pl plan out here. Um, God damn it, Aries. If he's swinging, grab onto the club. Yeah, right. I ought to just fucking let him die. This piece of shit. <laughs> We're going to eat your friend. <laughs> where, where did you guys come from? Yeah, right. <laughs> he immediately just fucking puts that guy in a full Nelson. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I almost died. Oh, god damn it. My, full fucking, Nelson. my mage is dead now. Am I just like too low level for this? Is that what's happening? Am I just too shitty? <laughs> it's either that um, or your I was uh, not your team. paying attention. Yeah, I think my team sucks. But I think we're I think we're kinda a little low level. Maybe a little low level, plus not to mention that he is knocking everybody off of the goddamn ledge. Okay. I need to get some new gear, man. Want like some new beer. <laughs> so look, he just fucking swatted her and she's almost dead again, right? Yeah. Um But yeah, I was gonna say that Wish Upon movie kinda plays it up like a, a horror type movie. It's really not horror. It's just kind of people dying in stupid ways. Um, <laughs> I think our joke about it was that it was uh, um, everybody kept breaking their necks in the fucking movie. <laughs> so that'd be funny if that's how everybody had to die was that they get their neck broken somehow. Oh yeah, <laughs> there, and it was like some extenuating circumstance. No. <laughs> yeah. 
It always goes into like a slow mo and then yeah. fucking. Just the lightest little. Yeah, that'd be funny if that's how it actually went. There's just just one little hit. And then and then we watched. Uh, I remember we were talking about it before. I think there was like one other movie. I think we watched recently. I can't remember what it was though. You know, um, you know what you still need to watch? Rocky Horror Picture Show. Cactus Flower. Rocky Horror Picture Show. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. It's nope. a good movie. No. Nope. Fuck you, Billy. I'd sooner watch the entire Lord of the Rings trilogy than that piece of shit. I've been wanting to watch the Lord of the Rings again. I have never seen any of the Lord of the Rings movies. Let's watch the Lord of the Rings. Because I'm right there with Aaron Hansen, and then I just don't care. It's a good movie series. I'm not doubting that it's a good movie. I just don't care. It's one of those things, man. Like, you've you've come across those things, right? Where everybody says it's good, and you can kind of acknowledge the quality, but it's just not something you're interested in. That's what Lord of the Rings is to me. Um... You get what I mean. Anyway. Yeah, I'm trying to think of like a movie that I can say that about. That I because most of the time I go and I do watch them. It doesn't even have to just be movies. Like for me, it was kind of like The Witcher Three. I didn't like that game. So it wasn't for me. It's a good game. We got a lot of content in it. CD Projekt Red uh, obviously cares about the consumer. Excuse me, you said it, it, it even said so when I opened the case. It's like, we're going to give you a bunch of free DLC. And I'm like, oh, that's nice. But I didn't play the game long enough to use any of it. I'm still playing it. I come back to it. Ah! Oh, my legs! <laughs> Somebody make a wish! Yeah, I still I still come back to it because it's a long game because I'm trying to do all of it. Didn't they uh, do DLC for it recently or something? Yeah, there's two, two that my knowledge. Oh, I'm actually okay. at the level to do one of them. The other one is still a little mm. bit ahead of me. That expression on your face shows your excitement. Yeah. Victory. It is ours. I am old man. Uh, I just like I just like that voice. <laughs> I am young boy, but I am old man. <laughs> my face might look young, <laughs> but, but my I voice. Am old, but I am old man. <coughs> Do you not hear me, old? My voice is right. seventy years older than me. Uh, sweet, I got. And I'm only uh, a baby. Very. Uh, <laughs> Can you, like... I am the boss, baby. <laughs> can, can you, like, fucking <laughs> stop that? No. <laughs> I am the boss, baby. Look at me. I am old, but I am boy. <laughs> I am only two years old, <laughs> but I know how to talk in perfect sentences. Uh, you have to speak it, like, really broken. Like, <laughs> I am young boy. <laughs> That's, like, just an Oni plays thing. <laughs> I do that sometimes. That's stupid. All right. Well, I can leave now, I guess. I don't need to be here anymore. Guardians of the Galaxy and uh, Deadpool are two things that everyone's like, oh my god, or something wrong. And I just never watched. Oh, yeah. Well, I, you know what? I could say the same thing about um, pretty much any of the um, Marvel. Marvel stuff. I'm not really Super that big Girl. into it. Yeah, I'm not really big into it. I just don't care. I have a guy at work, uh, Tim, and he he constantly talks about them. Does he does he watch our show? Is he going to be pissed? Yeah, yeah, he he watches. Does he? No. Are we calling you out, Tim? <laughs> Fuck you, Tim. Calling you out, Tim. You suck at playing in plastic. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm already better than you, and you, you used to be a fucking foreman. Oh my! Shots fired, man. Uh, he's he's just not careful. But anyway, he's oh. constantly like, so you see that new Black Panther movie? Like, no. It's so good. It's the best Marvel movie ever made. I really like that. that, uh, that uh, uh, he never remembers anyone's name. He's like, I really like that one guy. 
that one guy. Uh, the black one? I'm <laughs> like, yeah, that's like 99% that's like of the people. Everyone in the fucking movie. <laughs> There's two Lord of the Rings actors in there, and then uh, everyone else. Okay. What? There's two Lord of the Rings actors. Yeah, but he's not going to say who? Does he not know who? Yeah. I mean, I know who the the Lord of the Rings actors are. Willem Dafoe. He's yeah. my favorite character in the whole movie. There's uh, Andy Serkis. Who plays Betsy Davis. <laughs> Andy Serkis, who plays Gollum. Oh. And then, um... Uh, fucking... Uh, what's his face? Freeman? But not Freeman, but... Uh, British dude? Um... Martin Freeman? I don't know who you're talking about. Uh, what's his fucking name? I don't know who you're talking about. I have no idea because I don't haven't been looking at that fucking movie because I don't care. Have you seen The World's End? No. Why haven't you seen The World's End? What is that? Simon Pegg movie? No. I've no. not seen it. I think it's Martin Freeman. Uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Nope. Billy, you know me in movies. I don't. I don't watch them typically, which is why I was kind of like explaining earlier that I've actually seen a few recently. Okay. Oh. Oh. I don't think I've ever seen it with, uh, him in a movie. Yeah, because he was uh, he was Bilbo Baggins in the The oh, Hobbit. Well, fuck him. Yeah. Next time on Chinstrap Chaps, we watch a movie. Yeah.